Hello friends, so today we gonna discuss the problem from Court Forces round 654 Problem B Magical Calendar So the problem statement states that in a competitive eater Alice is scheduling some practice for eating a contest in a magical calendar and the calendar is unusual because the weeks contain not necessary 7 days so the week consists of any number of days and the number of days in a week can be of the integer k which is between 1 to r okay so now what you'll have to do here is whenever now alice has to choose n consecutive days to like like study or like work for her eating contest so whenever she choose n consecutive days some pattern is formed in the calendar as you can see if uh, the calendar or the week has four days then after every four days the calendar look like this like as you can see monday tuesday wednesday thursday monday tuesday wednesday thursday and she has to choose like five consecutive days so she can start on this day so this is one two three four five now if she started this day the shape is looking like this but as you can see this shape and this shape is same so whenever you fill this calendar you have to find out how many possible shapes you can form you can okay so now the thing is if you take different calendars or if you take different uh, different number of weeks in a day then different shapes will appear so you have to find that for any of the uh, like any of the number of weeks you take in the calendar and how many possible shapes can you form you can understand it more with this example so in this question you are given n the how many consecutive days you have to choose and 4 is the number of weeks you can choose so it can be between 1 to 4. The number of weeks can be 1, 2, 3, 4. So you can draw out every possible case. So if there is only one week, one day in a week, then the calendar would look like this Monday, 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 and so on. So if you have three consecutive days, you can work like this. So this is one type of shape. Now, if you have two days in a week, so the calendar would look like this, and you can take either this shape or this shape. Now for three days in a week, the uh, it is look, looking like this but as you can see for four days or five days it will always look like this there is always one consecutive bar of n days and it is fine so these are same the total possible different number of shapes is one two three four so answer is four as you can see so you have to find out this answer so uh, for always in drawing questions you try to draw it for three or four test cases and you will understand more okay so let's assume there is a calendar and I have chosen four days in a week and I have five consecutive days. Now I want to see how many possible shapes it can form. I can start from this day because I, I have to fill five days. So this is one way in which I can fill four days and then this day. Okay, so I'm just filling this day. So this is one day. Now the second day can be I can start from this day and then I will end up at this day, second box. So as you can see, if I start at the first day, then I end up at this box. Then I, if I start at this day, I end up at the second box and so on. So there are four possible answers. There are four possible configurations as you can see. And for four possible configurations, how many, how can we find out how many configurations are there? We can just divide modulus four with five. So because it means that for every number less than five, I have that much configuration. So you can also check with this, with this example, as you can see for one, there's only one configuration for two. I have two configurations, this and this. Now for three, because there are total of three days only, you can easily fill this. And from this onwards, the configuration will not change. There is only one way. So for less than this number of days, so if I have, let's say, I have three days, okay, and I have four possible number of weeks. So for less than three, I have, for one week, I have this type of configuration. For two weeks, I have two type of configuration. But as soon as I hit three, so for three weeks and for more number, there's always only one type of configuration. I hope you understand. So that's the whole trick. You have to first uh, like see if this number of weeks is less than this number. So as you can see, this is just the summation of one till n because this is one, then this is two, then if there will be three. So the summation for n numbers is n into n plus one divided by two. So, so how many numbers you have to do a summation you have to do a summation of all those number which are less than three 
so okay so you have to check that whether this number is greater than or equal to 2 if this greater than or equal to 2 you will you will add it for all those numbers okay so do a summation for 1 till 2 and then for the rest of the number you have to add only 1 to the answer because then only one configuration is possible i hope you understand you can also check this with this example also in this i can show this example because then the configuration is just the same so i'll take it on to the code now to make it more clear so okay so this is n and k take them put in long long okay and then if n is greater than k so what does this mean it means that this number like how many days i have is greater than this number which tells us that we will never reach a condition in which there is one consecutive bar why because the number of weeks in a day is smaller than the total number of days and thus i will not not reach a day in which the whole week is longer and there are consecutive bars because the week the number of weekdays is always smaller and we have to turn down and thus for this we have to do a summation till k okay so the we'll we'll do a summation till k k and k plus 1 divided by 2 else if we can reach to that position we have to do a summation till uh, how many is number we have to do a summation till this n minus 1 because as you can see after n after n there will be only one configuration and thus we'll do a summation till n minus 1 find out the summation and for uh, after ad adding this because there is only one type of configuration left after this what we'll do we'll add one to the answer because after all these number whichever number is there there is only one type of configuration and thus add one to the answer and just answer plus plus and just click on like output the answer i hope you understand the logic if you still have any doubts please mention now thank you for watching this video i'll see you in the next one keep coding bye